Hey guys, my name is SickaBOT1 and welcome back to Let's Play Punch-Out Wii. We're gonna be heading to Major Circuit Day. We are hanging with the big leagues now. Those other guys were chumps. This is Piston Hondo. He was actually originally named Piston Honda in the NES Punch-Out, but his name was changed to avoid a lawsuit from the car company Honda. He is from Japan and he's actually probably one of my least favorite fighters in this game. Not because he's hard or anything, but because I don't find anything particularly interesting about him. Aside from his name change. So, let's get it on. Oh, he was a champion of the minor circuit in the NES Punch-Out. Okay, let's go. Alright, so Piston Hondo is considered one of the fastest fighters in the game, and there's a good reason for that. He is kind of fast, but that doesn't mean he's difficult. In fact, he's, he's quite easy. He does like a wink punch, he does a hook. He actually has two variations of the hook, I think. No, he has a hook and an uppercut. And, like, once or maybe twice per fight he'll bow at you like he did back then, and that'll leave him open to get a star punch. So take advantage of that. Also, you can block his jab, but I think you can get more punches out of a stun by doing that. And this is his rushing Hondo attack. He will throw three punches followed by an uppercut, which you can block the jabs. You won't be able to dodge them otherwise, and then dodge the uppercut and get some damage on him. It's pretty predictable, and it's always the same, so that's pretty much all there is to Piston Hondo. The rest is just beating the crap out of him, following his patterns correctly, and... Laying smack down, I suppose. I've already exhausted everything I could talk about this guy. Oh wait, I, I, I guess I could talk about the original NES punch out as well. <clears throat> I already said he was the champion of the minor circuit in that game, but he also reappears, I think, at the beginning of the world circuit in the same game. And he's a little tougher there. Although I forget exactly how he's tougher. It's interesting. They... In the NES Punch-Out, they do have rematches, but only for three of the characters in the game. And I don't think I need to tell you that you can rematch everyone in this game. Which is one thing I really love about this game. How these... how... The, uh, the after game is essentially the same length as the main game. Making it one big game, well... Still, it's not that big. It's still kind of a short game, but... It still gives you a lot to do, especially with the challenges. I was just being slow here so I wouldn't knock him out. What's your favorite flavor of protein shake? Mine's chocolate. I didn't know there were other flavors of protein shake, Doc. Going into round two, much of the same. He, again, he doesn't have many other tricks. Yeah, I think it takes me a while to beat him, though. Uh, one thing, he doesn't leave himself open for star punch opportunities a whole lot, so you'll either need to do it by counterattacking or just hitting him with your weaker punches, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, do I have anything else to say about him? He's Japanese. And really, I don't feel like they use that to full effect. I mean, he he fights for honor and he likes sushi, but... Uh, again, the re reason he's not really high up on my list is because he was never really that spectacular, I think. Especially compared to any other fighter in the game. Every other fighter in the game actually wears their stereotype pretty well. But this one, it's not. there's not really that much that's funny to it. I mean, he had Glass Joe, he's a wimp. Von Kaiser, he's a wimp. Disco Kid, he's flamboyant. King Hippo, he's just King Hippo. And in this circuit in particular, I had trouble getting those knockout animations. But it's fine. We'll get to see them later in the challenges. Don't you worry. Untouch, baby. Untouch. Did that sucker even land a punch? The next fight might not be so easy. Yeah, the next fight is supposed to be a bit tougher, but for a different reason. We'll see why that is. Stop clicking. 
load screens. This is Bear Hugger. He is obese and he's from Canada. And uh, take note, Brian is very skinny, despite being named after the fattest Pokemon around. So he, do he doesn't fit the stereotype, okay? He's from Salmon Arm, Canada, and I don't know if Salmon Arm is actually a, a real place in Canada. I forgot to do that research, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll flash it up if it is. Anyway, this guy appeared in the Super Nintendo Punch-Out, not in the original. He was the second opponent in the game, so obviously he is a bit tougher here than he is in the SNES Punch-Out. Actually, he made his debut in the Super Punch-Out arcade game. Okay, here we go. Now, despite being obese like King Hippo, he fight uh, Bear Hugger actually fights a lot differently from King Hippo in that he doesn't have as great as of defense, but he does have a lot of attack power. Those hooks you need to dodge to the left of Duck, you can't dodge to the right. As I demonstrated before, he also is a bit of a goofy show-off, and you know I, I love this guy. This guy is so goofy and just he doesn't care, and he has an overhead smash. He's almost playful in nature. If you really think about it. I had something else to say about him, but I forgot what that was. Well, he's from Canada, he's the only English-speaking member of the major circuits, and he actually has... Uh, he, he's not going to use it yet. You have to stun him by hitting him in the head. You, if you hit him in the stomach, you won't stun him, but you can hit him in the stomach during a stun, which is a bit weird, because you would think that... If you couldn't stun him before, you do that. And there's this bear hug, which you must duck. Otherwise, it takes off a lot of damage, and you don't want to be on the receiving end of it. Don't... don't get hit by it. Okay, he's... I remembered what I was going to say before. He's one of two opponents that were in Super Punch-Out, but not in the original NES Punch-Out that appear in this game. Did I have an... oh yeah. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but while your opponent is down on the ground, you can actually tap the 1 and 2 buttons, or if you're playing with a nunchuck, you can shake the we want a nunchuck and recover some health, which is very useful, I think. And, you know, it's careful not to knock him out. Just get him once in the face. Mm, yeah. Mm. Now I have the strength <laughs> of a bear. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yes. Mm. There's many ways to climb a hill, Mac, but only one way to swim a river. I forgot that. But apparently Syrup is a strengthened guy. <laughs> strengthened guy? What the hell is I talking about? It's basically something that Bear Hugger believes gives him strength because he's Canadian and you know Canada, they love their maple syrup. Everybody loves maple syrup. Uh, not me, no, I just like it. I don't even always have it. <laughs> maple syrup? He didn't even recover that much health in that one. But we've seen all of Bear Hunter's tricks, so we don't have to worry about anything else. It's all easy to dodge once you know what he does. Because he's... His telegraphs are really slow and obvious. Which is given since he's obese, so... Yeah. I overtook Canada! Go me! Yes, so it can be Rules Canada now, and you'll have to deal with it, apparently. Okay, I don't actually rule Canada, don't take that as anything but a goofy joke. That doesn't work. Unstoppable, kid, unstoppable. You fight like a lion. A lion. That's a bit ironic, considering who we are going to fight next, and if you know this game, you know who we're fighting next. Well, duh, because you know this game. Ah, uh, jeez, why do people even say that? Why do I say that? Great Tiger. It's not a lion, he's Great Tiger. We'll find out his shtick later. On the next episode of Punch-Out, we will also be fighting whoever this is. So, with that, take care. Don't beat up Canada, or I will get you.